Hi everybody, welcome back to GeoArtRC. My name's George and I've got a new project. And here it is. It's really just a body shell. <clears throat> um, you may not be able to tell what it is just at the minute. Some people will. Um, but if I show you this, then you should know straight away. It's the uh, Tamiya Volvo 850 British Touring Car from 1996. The saloon obviously and this is a car that i've been wanting to do for quite a while now i used to work for volvo back in the day so i kind of have a soft spot for them so yeah i'm quite looking forward to getting this one done so i just bought a second hand uh, tl01 tamiya chassis um off ebay um it's in quite good nick and i'm basically just using it for the the basis for the shell to sit on um, so I ordered the shell off L&L models and as you can see it comes with 3d printed rear wing mirrors and grill um, it also comes with the decals but I'm not using their decals because uh, for some reason they have left a portion of the decals out which is the portion that goes on the roof these bits here that you can see I don't know why they left them out but maybe you could use you, you could paint it on but I wanted to use decals because uh, I wasn't sure if I could get the right colour to match the decals or not in the spray. So this is just an introduction to tell you what I'm going to do and uh, I'm hopefully going to get it started very soon and I'll uh, come back and show you uh, my progress at various points in this video and then hopefully we'll see the, the finished article. And hopefully it'll be looking as good as I, I hope it will. And we can add it into the collection. So, I'll see you soon. Thanks. So that's it, cut out and mounted. Um, I'll need to sand all the edges, give the arches a wee bit of a tidy up, but that's pretty much <clears throat> where I want it. And so, next job will be spraying. Need the weather to improve a bit, it's a wee bit of stormy outside. Um, but yeah, that's the next job. I think it's going to be a nice one. So we're back and I've done the first part of the spray job. Um, which is the wee splitter along the front there, which I've just done in black. So as you can see, I masked off just the front section. And then used um, newspaper just to cover the rest of it which works fine if you're careful um, looks like I've got a couple of wee areas of bleeding along the edge of the masking tape but uh, it's not too bad I should be able to clean that up okay um, and then we'll move on to the next part which is just spraying the body white um, put the window masks on I've never used RC decals um, before so it'll be interesting to see what their window masks are like. I've only ever used Tamiya, and Tamiya's are pretty good. Um, so that'll be the next part of the video that you'll see. And then I'll be on to the, the decals themselves. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that done. So that's the window masks on. And we handle on the top to make it easier to work with and ready for spraying. So I finished the spraying, <clears throat> um, I used a full can of Tamiya PS1 white on it uh, and then I backed it in silver, a couple of a couple of coats of silver. I might have done another coat but I ran out of silver so I couldn't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and it turned out not too bad, a couple of areas where the, the paint has leached in behind the the mask, but I think that was my fault more than anything else. Um, so I'm going to clean that up. Um, I think I've got Carson paint killer to do that with, and then I'm going to smoke the windows. And uh, once I've that done, then I will move on to the, the stickers, and we'll see how that goes. So see you soon. Actually, before we get to that, I want to interrupt this video just to give a shout out to another RC channel 
and that is Adam's Playground. Um, if you <clears throat> watch this sort of video, you probably know about his channel already, but if you don't, um, definitely give it a, a check out. Um, I watch it all the time, it's really good. Um, lots of interesting stuff. Um, as I say, if you're into RC cars at all, definitely give it a shout. Um, I've been speaking to Adam in the comments and emails and stuff, and he kindly sent me some of his stickers, um, which was really awesome. And uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanna give him a shout out. Go over, check out his channel, and uh, like and subscribe and just support this channel. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put these stickers now. I might put them on the uh, lunchbox up there um, just because Adam's a big lunchbox fan. If you've watched his channel, you'll see that. Um, so definitely give it a shout and please watch the rest of this video uh, about my new project. Thanks. So that's it done, folks. And uh, I must say, I really do like it. The stickers weren't too bad to put on. Uh, stickers from RC decals, as I've already mentioned. And they're good quality, yeah. And I, I just think it looks really a really nice car. Really pleased with the way it turned out. Um, if you're my age and you've used to, and you watched British touring cars back in the day, you'll remember these cars and they just looked amazing. As did all the British touring car cars. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this, the way it's turned out. Uh, the shell, body shell by L and L models. Uh, just yeah, really good. And uh, I think you can probably tell I'm quite pleased with it. 3D printed uh, wing and mirrors. <clears throat> really good. This here is going to be a shelf queen for the foreseeable future. Um, but I might get it wrong at some point. Um, but I'm oh, really pleased with another model, another model finished. And I hope you like this video. Um, I'll maybe try and do some running videos when the the weather picks up. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is where it's going to live on the shelf, alongside my other touring car, which is a, a Alfa Romeo, which I think was German touring car. Um, I think it looks really good on the shelf there beside it. Um, as you can see, I like my Tamiya on road cars. Um, well, I'm starting to run out of room here. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to maybe rethink this, can reconfigure it. Um, you can see the cars are sort of sitting everywhere. But, uh, and I've got a few motorbikes on the go as well. Um, Glenn from uh, Tommy Legends did a video recently with his uh, motorbike collection, which sort of inspired me to get mine out again and display them rather than have them hidden away in the roof space but uh, yeah I hope you like them so that's the Volvo I say really pleased with it really happy that I got it and uh, it's a really nice addition to the collection I hope you agree so that will bring this video to a close I hope you liked it um, I just wanted to see these two cars sort of side by side uh, i think they look great together uh, the alpha is a runner um, i really should get the the volvo running as well it wouldn't be hard to get it running really and uh, get some running footage of them together in the in the summer when the weather improves and um, so as i say i hope you liked it and uh, with a bit of luck, we'll get them running and we'll see them out sometime in the future. So that just leaves me to say goodbye, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.